All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a different video for you today. Um, probably will do it all in just one video, although, you know, I could break this up into a, a long, drawn out process. But I don't even know if you guys will find any of this stuff interesting. But basically, what I want to do, and you know, I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while, we started Trout Whisper Tackle Company. It's really kind of grown quite a bit, and uh, I do everything out of my house here um, as far as building, assembling, shipping, all of, this, all of the business is done right out of my house. Um, so basically, let me show you what I'm working with here now. I have a little home office here, and it might look fairly big right here, but uh, as you can see, we've got some product up here. I got all my supplies, I got camera gear, my editing area other stuff over here it's not very big of a room so this room is about 12 by like 10 or 11 ish we got the closet here so that takes up a lot of the room there so that's really only like nine feet so we don't have a ton of room and i realize that a lot of people do a lot more with a lot less but i've kind of outgrown this office space here um and to be honest with you this is this is picked up. I mean, I don't have much floor space, but like when I'm actually working in here, if I'm building rods or putting lures together, you know, shipping stuff out, I have stuff everywhere. Kind of stressful just trying to get everything organized and uh, being more efficient. So, so not only am I using that office space up there for the stuff, I was assembling a lot of stuff like in my living room and stuff. So I was taking over that room. So the other half of my operation is down here in the basement and this is where my paint booth is and this is basically where I I paint all, all of the crankbaits that you guys buy. Um, so we got my paint booth here, uh, my duct work system. Um, we have the area where clear coat the baits and then my UV box. So. Um, this stuff obviously wasn't gonna fit upstairs in that office. Yeah, I didn't really want it up there anyway. It's kind of messy, so. Um, what would be the most ideal thing is to combine all this stuff into one space and then I can free up uh, my office and uh, just have a more comfortable working space. Because when I do this down here, and this honestly is kind of one of the reasons why I'm out of crankbaits quite often is because it's kind of miserable down here. I mean, this is a fairly nice, uh, you know, basement. It's not finished, but um, in the winter, it's cold. There's no heat down here, so it's um, it's fairly uncomfortable. It's really just kind of like damp feeling, and like it's a basement, so it's not all that fun to be down here for long periods of time. So I contemplated doing buying a shed and having 12 by 20 shed outside, which is huge. Um, I also contemplated adding on to the side of my garage to have a little shop there. But I think I've settled on this. Um, because I have such a large basement down here, and really most of it isn't being utilized besides this half. So here's, let me show you what we got here. <clears throat> my basement's basically split into two pieces. Over here is my workstation that I have for painting all my lures. And this half just has the ping pong table and a bunch of junk stored at the other end. So as we walk down here, you can see the other half. I got stuff on the floor because I've been kind of moving stuff around trying to figure out some options. So it's a pretty decent sized basement. And the more I got looking around, I kind of figured maybe we could build a little shop down here and uh, we could use it for everything. Filming, editing, uh, shipping, building and painting lures. And it'll be all in one spot and just maybe more efficient, be a little bit more of a comfortable space to do this in. And I'm no way complaining. I'm super grateful for what I have here. Um, and I, like I said, I know a lot of people do a lot more with a lot less, but uh, I have the ability to do this. So why not? It's thanks to you guys that I'm even considering doing this because without you guys, I wouldn't even be making these lures and, and getting them out to you guys or the videos. So this is really uh, to hopefully help my business and help you guys um, get better content and uh, 
get some more lures to come anyway. So this is what I'm deciding to do. This whole area right here is all storage right now. So measured this out. This is a 13 by, if I come to this, this beam over here, it'd be 13 by 19. So we got 13 by 19 room. That's massive compared to what I am used to having. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this into a pretty sweet little like man cave-ish um, office space uh, shop area. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna stud this all up, get some walls in there. It's gonna be a completely separate room from the basement. Um, it'll be a little bit better temperature controlled in there. Um, we'll have heat in there and we'll have all the electrical set up the way we need it and maybe even a little space to do some filming with. So it might be kind of cool. So uh, I don't know if you guys want to see this video or not, but I'm going to take you through the process of this. Right now it's mid-August, so I don't expect to get this done until probably the winter at some point. It's going to be a slow and steady build and I'm just right now um, kind of thinking about how I want to have this set up because the first step is going to be clearing all this stuff out which I started a little bit here um, and then I want to try to map out where my stuff would be in the office so we can figure out the electrical how many outlets I might need uh, the, so we can do the wiring and, and frame everything in so right now I'm gonna work on getting all of this stuff over here out of there and slid over to this section because uh, some of this stuff is going in my little shop here. I built this, I'll show you guys this at some point, but I built this to go to the main sportsman show right before COVID hit. It was a really nice display that I like built. Really cool thing. I've never even used the thing. So there's another one there that we had. So it'd be sweet if we could put those back to use. So I'm going to start cleaning this out and uh, we'll take you along this ride. So stay tuned. Let's see how this turns out. Mostly got it cleaned out. You can see, got all this open space now. Um, just have to take care of this stuff. But this wall, I believe we're actually gonna move back to where this beam is here. Um, so we get a full, full amount of room, full 19 feet that we want. But yeah, check it out. Pretty sweet pretty echoing here right now, but this will all be one big room. So, um, I've got this little sort of bump out here and that's going to be where my room starts. It's going to go all along this wall, block off all else. We'll put a door out here. Pretty exciting stuff, let's go. All right, so off camera, we've done a few things here. It's been a few days, but uh, my basement, when I moved in, um, this house was built in like the mid eighties, but it has uh, just some fiberglass insulation stuffed up in the rim joists here, which I guess is fine, but some of it's kind of bad. It's kind of mismatched pieces and uh, I know some of the stuff over on this side where we're building the room got a little bad um, from the previous owner when they replaced the door and they, you could see where there was visible water damage, but that's all been repaired. So uh, what I wanted to do someday with this house anyways was redo all those room joists, spray foam in there, and then put like rocks all over it. So I went ahead and did that on the side that we're building the room. If you guys can see it here, we got uh, the rock wool insulation up there and i just bought a little kit online uh, i'll show it to you right here make this real quick here and it's just a uh do it at home little um spray foam kit you won't be able to do a lot but i can do all the rim joists in my house here with this whole kit so so i sprayed all of those and that made it you know more of a vapor barrier than what was there and then we stuffed it with that rock wool stuff um, 
It's a uh, higher R value, moisture and mold resistant, and uh, just wanted to do it. So I figured I'd do it on this side before we build the room and it's hard to get at those. We'll just have it all done. So this side of the house is all done. I did it all the other day. So not really part of this build, but I wanted to do it before we built the room so it's not so difficult later on to get after it. So we re-insulated all that. Uh, the next step now, um, I took off all the plywood off this wall. There is one outlet there. I'm gonna have to relocate that and knock that down and you know move that back later. But the next step right now is to put up some foam board insulation against the wall. Um, we got one inch foam board insulation and I'm just going to use some adhesive, stick it to the wall, tape up the seams and that's gonna be my moisture barrier. Also, let's keep in mind in the comments, I'm not a contractor. I don't ever plan to be, I don't wanna be. I'm just a homeowner doing this on my own, so. I'm sure I'm doing stuff wrong, but uh, I guess you can leave it in the comments if you want, but at that point it's going to be too late, so. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've made some progress on the room here, as you can see behind me. Foam boarded the whole walls, uh, tore down this wall that was over here. You can kind of see where it was. And then we built a new wall, which will be the new back wall over here. So now what we got to do is build the rest of the three walls in our space here um, and then figure out the electrical, wire it up, and then we can start putting the wall boards on. So uh, my dad's coming over, he's going to help me. We're going to hopefully get some more of these walls up and uh, frame it all in. As you can see, we got it all framed up. So now I'm gonna put eight inch shiplap boards all the way around this. So it's gonna take a little bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the lumber that I'm using to board the walls up with. It's uh, eight inch shiplap. And I bought this stuff at a discounted price because it was, um, as you can see, a lot of it is has some bad spots in it. So it was about half the price of you know more premium shiplap so um you know but i got it at a, at a discounted price and all i gotta do is you know cut out some of these bad spots there's more knots in it maybe some cracked ends but for the price of it it was a better deal than buying premium stuff especially down in the basement there and it's given me more of that like barn board look that i wanted Does that look a little different now or what? Ooh -wee. Check it out. We got all the wall boards on. Made a lot of progress of that. Did it in about uh, three different sittings, but uh, my dad helped and my father-in-law helped. So thanks to them, we got this knocked out pretty quick. And now, what I gotta do 
It's super echoing here, sorry about that, because we don't have a floor and ceiling and all that stuff to muffle all the sound, but we will. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, put some finish on the walls here. These are just uh, shiplap, but they are sanded. I mean, uh, they are planed on one side and I just wanna varnish it. Uh, I'm gonna put clear semi-gloss poly on all of this and uh, probably not going to do it the right way. I'm sure some, I'm sure this whole build, people are going to say, oh, you should have done it this way. You shouldn't be doing that. But I'm going to roll it on because this is a nice flat surface and I don't really feel like doing it by hand. So I'm just going to go in the corners of the brush, get those done, uh, maybe around the top and the bottom with the brush. And then I'm just going to roll the rest of it just like you would uh, with normal paint. So. <laughs> Okay guys, so we got the room completely polyed and uh, the next step is I need to put in the ceiling. So for the ceiling, I'm doing a drop ceiling. I figured that's just the easiest thing to be able to still access any electrical or plumbing um, on, you know, under that's gonna be covered up underneath the ceiling. So I've, I've found that there aren't a bunch of options for drop ceilings around. Um, so I'm just going with the cheapest thing that there is. I really didn't want bright white, which you can see, that's what I got. I got bright white tiles and a white uh, framework to go to hang them from. Thought about spray painting the framework black. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet or not, but I am gonna paint the tiles. I just went to Home Depot and bought the cheapest tiles that they had. And I want it, I didn't want it bright white because I'm gonna be filming in there some, taking pictures and stuff and just working on the computer. I don't want it to be super bright and, and annoying. So I'm gonna paint this uh, gray color here and it's called smoky trout so i had to get that color so let's just uh start rolling this stuff on and see how it works it's like oh yeah that'll work
All right, so we made quite a bit of progress with the room here. You guys can see we got the drop ceiling in. Those tiles that we painted gray, I love the look of that. It just uh, makes it not so bright in here because the walls are already kind of bright and just wanted to kind of dull it down a little bit, and especially if we're gonna be doing a little bit of filming in here and uh, I want to turn the lights off, I can do that and it's not gonna be super bright and reflective. And I also wired them up they're on separate switches. These two are on one switch and this one's on another. So if I want to be down here working on the computer, I can turn these lights off and not be so bright. So, so, so far I'm super happy with it. And the next thing I got to do is pop this door in here. I got the door right over here sitting on the ground. So I got to, I got to pop that in and then we can start putting the floor down. And uh, once that's done, the room's, the room's complete. So All right, door is in, kind of a pain just because of the thickness of the wall. That was a split jam door and the jams didn't really, the jam didn't really fit together because of how thick the wall is. So I got it in, it took longer than it probably should have, but uh, just had to add this trim piece in here to kind of fill the gap, but it works. Anyway, vacuumed up the whole floor now it's time to do the final step here. Uh, really two more steps, but the flooring. And uh, what I'm gonna do first is put down this DMX one step. And it's just a dimpled mat that goes down. Um, it's really used for like uh, basement applications. Um, the dimples, the dimples raise the floor up just a little bit so air can circulate underneath the floor and mold doesn't grow and uh, if you get some moisture, it doesn't uh, sit underneath there and you know cause problems. So we got this. I'll link it down in the description below. I'm gonna lay all this stuff out, tape up the seams, and then we should be good to go to start laying some flooring down. All right. So the blue mat is all down. It wasn't too bad, it went pretty easy. Um, so I started to put in, I put in just a couple pieces of flooring last night just to see how it was gonna go down, what it would look like. And uh, looks like it's gonna go down all right. Um, it'd be a little easier with another person to hold it and stuff, but I'm gonna see how much I can get done myself here. Uh, I got a couple hours, so put down some flooring and uh, see how it looks. I just got this vinyl, uh, let's see. I got this vinyl click together flooring with the pad on the back. I got it at uh, a discounted price, about half price. So um, it's cheap enough, should work. So let's see if we can lay some of this down, see what it's gonna look like.
Well, it's done. The room is finally complete. Check it out. So the GoPro is really the only camera that can like capture this whole room right now because of the lens I have on that on the big camera. So it looks pretty big on GoPro. It's a little, probably a little bit smaller in person. The room ended up being 12 by 18. So pretty good size room. I just laid all the trim down. I think it turned out pretty good. Super happy with it. All right guys, so the room is finally done. Took a couple months, kind of chipped away at it here and there. Had some help from my dad, my father-in-law, so thank you guys for helping. I'm gonna end the video here. This will be kind of like part one where we just built the room and then I'll come back um, after a couple more months when we start using it and get this kind of built out the way that uh, I want it set up for what I'm gonna be using it for. And I'll kind of show you how we have it set up because I'm gonna have like a paint booth over here um, all of my lure building stuff. I'm gonna have a rod building station. I'm gonna have a YouTube editing station over here. So uh, we're gonna fill it all up and uh, I will get back to you guys when we get all that stuff set up and show you what it looks like. So make sure, you, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely stick around for part two of this video coming up probably in a few more months. Thanks for watching, guys.